Okay, today I got my new tires, the Pirelli's Scorpions. Birdies. Brand new. Now the fun part, loading all the tires into the truck to take to Infinity at Linwood. Got all the tires there, and we just gotta put it in there. So, see you at the dealership. So here's the new tires. I got the Pirelli's. Here at uh, Infinity of Linwood, the big flag. Uh, the tires look great. They look really good. I highly recommend. Hey guys, I'm here at the dealership. Uh, the car is all done. Um, they put the new tires on. Uh, put new brake fluid in, did a wheel alignment, and some other things uh, maintenance wise on the car to keep it going. And uh, so here we go, I'm gonna test drive the car to see how it goes. And I'm pretty sure I'm already feeling the difference uh, rolling the car for only like a couple feet. I can already feel the difference. So we'll see, we'll see. So here we go. Hey guys, so right away I feel a big difference in the, in the comfort. Uh, the sound is a lot lower with the new tires. I can barely hear the road noise. It is like night and day with these new tires. Uh, the other tires I know are made for more of a, like dirt roads and more off-roading that these cars are capable of doing. So. I'm not going to say the other tires were bad tires, it just happens to be the stock tires that come with this vehicle. And a lot of the people who buy the, these big SUVs are more of the people that live out in the country and they're pulling horses and they're doing uh, more off-road and dirt roads than a city driver like myself would be doing. So when I first bought my car, the, tire, the tires are already on. Um, I did question the the, comf the ride comfort and I was informed that if you wanted a better ride comfort to get the tires uh, so at the time I just decided this I'll just wait instead of spending the extra money at the time when I first got the car we'll go through those set of tires and I'll really get a feel for the Bridgestone tires the more off-road type tires and then switch to the Pirelli's once the tire when once it came time to do the tire to get new tires, and I'm grateful that I did because in that way I'm not wasting money. Um, but it's definitely worth the little bit of extra money. It's only like a couple hundred dollars more uh, to get the Pirelli tires. Now, if you're going to be doing uh, if you're driving the car in more like off-road conditions. Uh, like if you're out in the country and you're on more dirt roads, uh, the Bridgestones actually work a lot better from what I've seen on the on the consumer reviews. But if you're doing more city driving um, and and you're in a city where it rains a lot more, uh, these tires are far superior. Uh, they actually handle this much better in the rain as well. Uh, not only with ride comfort, you can't really hear the road anymore compared to before. Um, you can barely feel the bumps in the road like before. Before I could feel like, unless it's like a, a significant bump in the road, you're not really gonna feel it anymore. Like it's almost kind of like riding on the cloud or 
it's almost kind of like riding in like the old school Cadillacs where it's where the car you can barely feel anything now uh, and with this suspension it's a little bit more sporty and stiff I was blown away like how much of a difference just the tires alone make you have to buy the right tires or you won't you're not gonna get the luxury feel of the car that you should get with the luxury car without the right tires and I can honestly say that now that I put my Pirelli tires on the Pirelli Verde off-season tires uh, my car definitely feels like a, like a luxury car that it was meant to be for me it's a huge upgrade as far as ride comfort goes and the overall luxury feel of the vehicle now I feel like I'm driving a luxury car versus a, just a, a, a standard SUV. It feels like you're riding on a cloud, but with the new technology, these are all season tires and they're supposed to last just as long as the, the old, the, the other set of tires I had. We'll see about that because from, you know, I mean, that's just softer tires just, or just normally, they just don't last as long. So we'll see how long these tires last. Hopefully they they last about as long as the other tires, depending on how much you drive. And I do drive a lot, so we'll see how long they last. Hopefully they last a while. Uh, Pirellis are known not to last very long. And you, you know, because they're so soft and so luxurious. Um, but they have this new technology with these tires. That's the reason why I didn't buy it directly through the uh, dealership because they were uh, st still supply getting they still had the older uh, technology set of tires so Pirelli just came out with these new tires that are supposed to last a little bit longer but still have the right comfort of their softer tires so hopefully uh, that technology really does work um, maybe it won't give me the the uh, tire life I would expect from uh, the harder tires that I had before but if it comes if it even if it comes a little bit closer or a little bit long closer to that lifespan of the older tire or you know a lot longer than uh, the softer tire I'll be happy uh, because the ride comfort is is it's amazing I can't believe it like I feel like I'm driving a brand new car like that's how wow this is amazing your attention. Front and center, the prominent double arch grille, offset by low position swept back headlamps. The wave-like hood recedes gracefully into the cabin. This Lockheed 12A is 6,000 pounds and towing this right now is absolutely easy. The horsepower and the torque, the towing capacity of this QX56 is absolutely amazing. It feels like an executive jet. All leather seats for all three rows, fine detailing on the door panels, switch gear, and shift panel. Wide door armrest, tri-zone entertainment system, and a 13-speaker Bose audio system. First class all around for pilot and passengers. Occupants also get personalized functionality. There are heated and cooled seats up front, heated second row seats, and generous center console space with multi-storage capability and a 60-40 third row seat with power fold and recline. The new QX56 has space to spare. 